What is up guys? Welcome to the next episode. So, some of the things that I've gotten done since the last video, I went ahead and finished the outline. Not really outline, but I covered the base up completely. And I don't remember if I had that large container in the last episode. I don't think I did. Maybe I did. I'm not sure. But, yeah, I do have a large container, and I connected these guys up. I have a sorter here, just so items don't go into the ship. I want all my stuff to come in, and they'll go into here. And then I'm going to connect it from there into the small little production thing that I've got going on over here. And uh, eventually I'm going to get a full-sized refinery, but for now this one's working okay. Probably because I haven't used the ship yet, but... Battery's doing good, it's almost fully charged. And uh, so when I was covering all of this up, or filling, putting the, the structure for the walls, I actually had a meteor storm come through. And luckily, like they came from over here, and luckily landed quite a ways over there. But it made me realize that I really need to get some turrets set up, some automatic turrets, probably on the four corners or something. I'm not sure where I'll put them yet. Maybe even up there with the turbines. Like a couple on the bottom and some on top. I'm not sure yet. I don't know if I... So like if I have a turret on this back corner here and a meteor storm comes in from over here. I don't know if the gun is going to be stupid and shoot at the meteors and hit the ship or something like that. I'm not sure. And I kind of don't want to find out. <laughs> so... That's my dilemma right now, but right now, uh, when I flew the ship up here, I did notice that my side thrust wasn't very strong, as well as, I believe, my forward thrust. Mainly my side thrust, and I was thinking, I'm like, where can I put some more thrusters, and some of the spots were actually, you know, like, right here in this little gap section. So I think I'm going to put one there and one on the other side as well. If I can get this rotation thing down. So I'll put one here also. And I could always put another here or even another one on top which I think I'm actually going to do. Put another one there and another one in between these guys. I'll go ahead and weld those up. I think I made enough for six more thrusters. But these... <clears throat> so I have four more for the side thrust. Two each. Should be decent. I'm not 100% sure. But I think... I don't remember what the other issue was. Actually, I... I think I wanted some facing up also. I know, that's kind of weird. Like, if you're in a gravity environment, why do you need thrusters to face up? But, honestly, you never know when this thing is going to want to try to flip over. So I'll put... Another one. What's it right here? So I'll put these upward thrusters as well. They won't be able to flip the ship over if it does flip, but they will hopefully help keep me from flipping. And I wanted to also put another battery, which I think if I just grind these sections out, I should be able to put a battery in. Yeah. Flip that. Don't think I have the items that I need for the battery. Pretty sure I didn't pull them out. So I'll go ahead and right click. Oh. Ugh, did I grab the I think I grabbed all the stuff I need for like a like a full size battery. Uh, so I need two computers. No big deal. Uh, 
any day. <laughs> so I didn't need that many power cells. But I do need two computers. I'll just grab a stack of ten. And that should hopefully be good enough for me to try this bad boy out. And I want to actually cover this battery. I think I'm going to do that with just kind of like a like a bumper back here. And there's going to be room for more thrusters if I need more thrusters. I haven't loaded this thing up with material yet, so I don't know how it's going to fly when it does get really heavy. But I think this will be pretty decent. Flip you. No. I had kind of like a little couple little accent pieces just so it's not like super bulky I guess it's still pretty bulky but it should work pretty decently I'm actually gonna go into the cockpit I need to redo my group for thrust I gotta add the six thrusters that I added save so that's saved and then that battery I added another battery save and then exit and then if I go to recharge it should charge that battery up fairly quickly but it's also going to be draining from here So that'll charge that third battery. And then hopefully we'll have a decent amount of thrust going on. I think I might actually... add a little bit of extra reinforcement on that little lip while this thing's charging and that should work it doesn't look it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it looks it looks pretty decent. I think it looks decent. It's not the prettiest looking ship, but if, if as long as it functions, I'm happy. Where are my batteries? Ugh, it's gonna take nine minutes. I don't have nine minutes, okay? I mean, I do have nine minutes. Let's be honest. Sun's pretty high up. I did do kind of like a little test dig out spot right here. And that's when I realized that I didn't have enough side thrusters. So it was kind of like I was coming in at an angle and it was wanting to kind of like flip over and I was like no no please don't do that but once this thing gets loaded with materials it's gonna get really heavy and that's when it's gonna we're gonna see how well it handles when it's fully loaded all right I think we should be charged up enough at least to kind of give this thing a little bit of a whirl why does that look so weird oh wasn't centered not a very good view actually these thrusters are kind of in the way aren't they that's okay. So I think we should be good. We'll go ahead and hit auto. That's on. P to disable the parking brake of sorts. I don't know if this will. I 
All right, so we can hold our weight up that way. What about this way? Okay, we can hold our weight that way. This is empty though. So empty, we're at about 36,000 kilograms. It's not too bad. Actually, I need to add an ore detector to this thing. But I think I'm going to head over to our iron area and see if I can't kind of dig it out a little bit so that I can access the iron. Because I really... Iron is one of the things that I need the most, like all the time. And I do have closer iron pockets, but this is the one that I have marked. I need I really need to put an ore detector on this thing. Probably should have done that before I left, but it's fine. Alright, so yeah, the battery definitely runs out pretty fast. Probably do like a trip and have to recharge. Ooh. I'm going to have to get used to that. This thing is pretty heavy, so it does not stop as quick as the jetpack does. So I don't know how I want to do this. I know it's pretty far down, the iron is. So I'm going to start just by right-click and kind of just take some of this stuff out. I'm going to have to add spotlights to this thing as well. But yeah, you can see it gets pretty dusty. Just a little bit annoying, but once I get down to the actual iron, it won't be as bad. Yeah, that stuff's pretty far down. I'm, I'm actually going to try to find something closer. I want to put an ore detector on this thing. An ore detector and maybe a couple spotlights. So that I can see what I'm doing. I like it, but it's a big ship. It's definitely a large ship. <coughs> I'm going to head back to base and I'm going to put some ore detectors. And some spotlights on it. Alright, so I pulled, I believe, the items that I need. Hopefully. So the ore detector, I think I'm going to put right here. Seems like a decent spot. Pretty covered. So I got the ore detector, and then I got the spotlights. I don't know where I want to put those. I don't really have any spots to put them. I guess I could put it right here, actually. So I'll put... Or... I could actually put them... I think, yeah, right here is probably a good spot. Kind of looks like headlights. And there. So weld these guys up. There we go. So that's not too bad. Our batteries are looking a little bit low, but that's fine. So I think, so access the inventory, not inventory, control panel, spotlights, radius. Do like a two for intensity, and then ore detector range 50 meter cool beans. Should be good now. So I'll disable that. And we should be able to detect stuff now.
should. So I thought I saw iron. Oh, there we go. So I saw nickel. There we go. Iron. That's kind of far down, man. But it's close. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of mine some of this up. Let me just go ahead and I'm going to mine this stuff up and I'll be right back. Alright, so a lot shallower than the other one so I got some iron here I'm actually going to mine it a little bit as much as I can just to kinda of gauge and see what kinda of weight limit my ships gonna have so I'm gonna left click this time and it's gonna fill up fast Alright, so I'm at 68,000. It still works pretty well. The front thrusters can keep me from falling. So 80, 86, 94,000. And we still fly pretty good. It's not bad, actually. So in our ship. I actually got some nickel too, so I got in the cockpit alone I have twenty five thousand. The connector I have twenty two thousand. Medium cargo container two thousand, so close to fifty thousand iron and it still seems to fly pretty well. So I'm very happy about that actually. So I think probably Oh god. Yep, so it's heavy takes a bit to slow down definitely so the next run I'll try to hit around a hundred and five thousand kilograms and we'll see what happens then Let's zoom in a little bit kinda come under the ship try to get this guy lined up go so I'll go ahead and park this guy exit it and we should be emptying our inventory into our large container because I don't have any hooked up to anything else so it should it's not um Where's the control for this thing? Do I have to access it from here? Uh, control panel. Wind turbine. Conveyor sorter. On. Oh, drain all on. There we go. So now... Cool. Large cargo container is pretty loaded. I got 49,000 iron, 6,000 stone, and 5,000 nickel all on that one run. That's a lot. That's a lot of material. I'm very happy with that, actually. And is this thing charging? So it's not. So my batteries are probably not too terribly drained. So I'm going to enter the cockpit and I'm going to set my batteries to recharge because I want them to recharge a little bit before I go for the, the big haul. I want to see, sh I should be able to hit like 110,000 kilograms, which will that's close to a hundred thousand kilograms of material alone that's not bad that's pretty good and it flew really well so yeah I'm really happy with that so I'm gonna let that guy charge up for a little bit and I'll be right back alright so before I go for another mining run I actually wanna get some Gatling turret 
guys up on the base. A couple of them. I don't know how these work. Do they rotate on their own? Hopefully they do. I'll just put one here. So one there. Probably another one right here. I think two should be okay for now. Is that going to be the whole gun? Nice, nice. Okay. So there's one. And I think I'll put one toward the back also, actually. Because I don't know how these meteors really work. Put that there. And I don't know what kind of ammo these things take. I'm going to have to figure that out. Because I don't want these things to just be up there without ammo. So, um... Is it something you produce? Two five one eighty four millimeter. NATO ammo container. Is that the thing that you need? Requires large caliber ammo. I'm guessing that's the ammo that it takes. Magnesium powder. How do you get magnesium powder? How do you get that? So I don't know how to get magnesium powder. Is that from magnesium? I'm going to find out. I'll go here. I'm going to clear my inventory. Because I know that there's some magnesium nearby. Where's my... want to see so nickel magnesium it's pretty far down but I'm curious if this is how you get the magnesium powder. Suppose we'll find out. Alright. Let's see if that is what it means. 
by magnesium powder. I need magnesium powder to make ammo, so hopefully that's what it means. If I just go in here and empty it, hopefully we'll get magnesium powder. We will. Okay, cool. So that's how we make these. I'll let that process and hopefully get a decent amount of stuff. Okay. So that should be what we need. And then if I go to this, say, this turret. Should we put that in there? Now, I don't know how much ammo these things are going to actually take when they're firing. But that's why I made a hundred of them. I'll put the first hundred in probably that turret. And we'll see what happens, honestly. So my inventory is pretty clear. And that stuff takes a while to produce, honestly. I could probably take the ship and get more. But what I want to do is take the ship to get more iron. And we're fully charged. All right, guess we'll take this thing for a joy spin. Go back over to where the iron was. I think that's it right here, right? go just think I'm gonna clear some of this out it's really hard to see when that dust is there iron pocket here I hit something might have damaged my ship a little bit you know what I'll take some of this nickel just so I can clear it out of the way for more iron so this ship definitely fills up fast I'm already at like 70,000 Trying to keep an eye on my horizon line thing. Eighty-eight thousand. Keep seeing sparks. I think I'm I need to be at more of an angle. I'm gonna have to inspect this thing for damage. So one hundred and three. 107, still doing okay, 114. Hundred and twenty-five. Hundred and thirty-five. Hundred and forty. And still doing pretty good. Okay. 
Oh yeah, this thing still flies like a champ. It's heavy, but we still fly pretty good at 140, which is over a hundred thousand kilograms on top of our current weight. Go ahead and park this bad boy. go park so that thing was loaded let's see what see what our numbers are looking in the large container now ninety two thousand iron ore forty four thousand stone oh man we're gonna have to hook this bad boy up and start processing some stuff. We're gonna need to build a full size refinery actually soon. The mining ship is definitely working out really well for us. Still assembling, still refining magnesium. So, yeah, we need a full sized refinery soon. I think I'm gonna hook up the conveyors. I'm gonna need a lot of conveyor stuff. Two, three, four, five, not quite five. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm gonna queue up ten worth of conveyor belts. Or conveyor tubes, not conveyor belts. And that's going to take a little bit, but I do have some of them. So I can start placing these guys. Placing these guys down, and I think I'm going to hook up probably right on top of the refinery. Like so. And I'm going to put a conveyor junction, actually. Dope. So I'm going to weld this guy up first. And then as many of the conveyors as I can, which I think I should be... Yep, so I don't quite have enough for that one. but they should be done processing soon soon is right so we'll go ahead and and that's all I can make okay but that should be enough well do you so that's connected that's good there we go so once the magnesium is done should okay we should start bringing in iron and all that good stuff the magnesium's finishing up so yeah things are looking good very very good iron's not going to be a problem anymore Nickel is good, stone's good, all that stuff is good. So, what I'm going to start doing is probably welding up some of this stuff, but I want to do all that off camera. Like all the, the framework, I'm going to weld all that up off of camera because it takes forever. So, I'll be doing that when the video is editing or rendering. But I do want to see what it takes to build a a real refinery it takes a lot it takes a lot of steel plates so I go to production 
and make like 2,000. 2,000 steel plates ish. And that's coming off of the assembler here. And I could put an upgrade of some sort on here, I believe. But I feel like I need something special. So I'm going to look. Mod. Yield module. We don't want a yield module for the assembler because it's assembling what it needs to assemble. So I think a speed module. I'm missing some stuff. So I'm going to do that. I can place it, though. It's going to take up a pretty large chunk of space. Oh, it said I didn't have enough items. Alright, so we got a speed module on here. And that should definitely increase the speed of assembling. I got all those NATO ammo containers that I'm going to throw up here into our little buddy, our little savior. So it's like half full. I could probably fit about 200 of those things. And I can also, you can hook these things up with conveyor tubes so that they are always like on a storage container, which would help. But for now, I don't have enough threats to do that. So if I get a meteor storm or something, this guy takes them out, whatever. I can go back and reload it manually. I'm, I don't have a problem with that for now. But I'm going to access inventory. I don't need you, 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 you. Cool. But we are processing up a ton of these guys. Tons of iron. This is awesome. That mining ship is wonderful. That's going to help things go along pretty smoothly. And again, like, I'm the only one on this world. I know a lot of people, they play online and they have a bunch of help and stuff, but for just me, I'm doing pretty good. Power is not looking so good, though. How are we looking? We're outputting about as much as I'm making, which is kind of scary. I can fix that later. I can add a bunch more batteries because I'm not going to be refining and assembling all the time. But for now, it's pretty good. Alright, so this big behemoth, behemoth of a refinery is big. It's big. And it'll fit. I'm not even sure where I want to put this thing, honestly. It's fucking huge. And I want room for upgrade modules. So I'd probably have to put it like right here. Or maybe over one, like right here, probably. So if I. Yeah, yeah, most of the items. So I'm going to put that there. I don't have nearly enough stuff for this thing, but it's cool, I guess. Because it's freaking huge. This thing is massive. So if I five again, I need 20 large steel tubes. I feel like I have those. Maybe I don't have those. Okay, so production. 
20 large steel tubes. What else do I need? Five more metal grids. I don't have metal grids. It's unfortunate. Ten. What else? Oh, that's it. Okay. So 20 large steel tubes and... Metal grids. Wow. The thing is freaking huge, man. And then... I think I can put just a normal... Large conveyor. Like that. And then this thing should be working. It is working. Okay, cool. That's what's up. Alright. And how's this looking? Thing's empty. That's what's up. So we got our basic refinery is running that stuff. I can only hold nine? Okay. And then the refinery. Put that in. I want to try to keep this a little bit organized. So I'll fill that with a nickel. Dope. So yeah, we're probably draining like all of our power now. Oh wow. Okay. So we're not. That's interesting. Maybe because we're not assembling anything right now. Yeah, this is nice. I like this. I really like this a lot. Nice large refinery, basic refinery, which this is going to be getting taken out eventually. And we'll be running just the refinery by itself. But I want to put some yield modules actually. And I don't know what I need for these. Superconductors. How the fudge do you make those? I think I need silver. I'm pretty sure that I do need silver. Gold. I don't think I have gold. I don't. Okay. So the yield modules will have to wait. That's fine. I know for the future. To go get some gold. And I think I found some gold somewhere. I don't remember where. I think it was... Maybe I didn't mark it. But I know I saw some gold somewhere. I'll just have to find it again. And that's fine. But... Yeah. That's not bad. Not bad at all. We got a nice big refinery. Our mining ship is working like a charm. Got some turrets. We're good. So, I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Sunset. I'm sorry you're going to miss it. The sun's still pretty high, but we're looking pretty good. Definitely. The base is coming along. I'm going to add some more wind turbines probably on the next episode as well. So next episode, I think we'll do looking for some gold and getting some module upgrades, new wind turbines, and the works. A lot of works. I think off camera I'm gonna go ahead and weld up the frame get get it looking more like a base and I'm probably gonna do a few mining trips and get some materials if I happen to run across gold I'll get it but we'll see but uh, anyways thanks for watching again guys episode 2 it's fun I love this game stay tuned for more and I'll see you guys later